When we're playing major thirds and minor thirds on a piano keyboard, we can truly be quick and dirty about it. All we need to do is pick a starting note and then play that note with the note three half steps above to get a minor third or with the note four half steps above to get a major third. When we're writing out major and minor thirds on a staff though, we wanna be a little bit more careful about it. Let me take the major and the minor third that we can construct from C as an example. So I'm gonna point out C here on the piano keyboard and then I'm gonna write middle C right here. So let's, let's go back and let's again find the major third above C. So if I start on middle C, I'm going to go C to C sharp, that's one, C sharp to D, that's two, D to D sharp, that's three, and D sharp to E, that's four. So I've gone up four half steps and I've landed on E. So I'm going to write C to E. Simple enough. Now let's go back and find the minor third that is above C. So I'm going to change my uppercase M to a lowercase M. So that major third is going to become a minor third. So we need now three half steps above C. So C to C sharp is one. C sharp to D is two. D to D sharp is three. So we have D to D sharp. Let me write a more a neater version of that right here. D to D sharp. C to D sharp, I'm sorry. So C to D sharp is three half steps. But notice there's a difference in the interval. There's an there's a difference in the number of letter names that we travel here. Notice that C to E is a third. It really is a third because we go C, D, E. One, two, three. C, D, E. But notice C to D sharp is only the interval of a second because we go C1, D, 2. We've only traveled through two letter names going from C to D. Even though it's a D sharp, we've only traveled through two letter names. And since we're calling this a minor third, we want the interval of a third to be reflected in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something that we learned in a previous video, which is this. Remember this note right here, this black key that is between D and E. We actually have two different names for that. We can call it, as we did originally, we can call that, that note D sharp or the black key that is one half step above D. But we can also call that note E flat or the note that is one half step below E. And notice what happens. It's exactly the same note. We play the exact same note on the piano keyboard, which means that those notes are in what we called a, an enharmonic relation. So let's write that now up here as not C to D sharp, but C to E flat. Exact same two notes that I'm playing on the piano keyboard. I'm just writing them a slightly different way up here. Notice, once I rewrite this C to D sharp as a C to E flat, now we have the interval of a third because we have three letter names, C, D, E. We now have a third. So this is going to be the better way or, or the preferred way to write a minor third uh, is to make sure that we still have the interval of a third. And, and sometimes when we write a minor third, we'll have a couple of different choices to, as to how we can write it. But we always want to choose the way that we can write it as a third. Um, let's take another example of that. And we can see that uh, going from, let's go from F this time. So here's F. 
gonna write that F up here. And let's get the major third above F, so we need four half steps. So F to F sharp is one, F sharp to G is two, G to G sharp is three, G sharp to A is four. So F to A, four half steps is our major third. And notice it really, it truly is a third because we travel through three letter names, F, one, G, two, A, three. Let's now find the minor third above F. And we'll go through the same process, but this time we just want three half steps. So we start on F, we go from F to F sharp, F sharp to G, is 2, and then G to G sharp is 3. So F to G sharp is 3 half steps, but notice F to G sharp is not a third because going from F to G, we're just traveling over two letter names. But remember, this black key right here can be written in two different ways ways, or, or spelled in two different ways. We can call it a G-sharp, um, meaning the, the black key that is one half step above G, or we can think of it as an A-flat, or the black key that is directly below A. So if we rewrite this as F to A-flat, it's exactly the same two notes. It sounds exactly the same when we play it on the piano, but now we have the interval of a third, F, G, A. So now we truly have written a minor third. We won't be too worried about this just yet. Um, but as much as possible in this section, try writing both the major and the minor thirds truly as thirds, as, as traveling over three letter names. In some upcoming videos when we talk about chromatic intervals, we'll really get into this in a lot of detail. Um, but for now, just just make sure that you're always writing your thirds as the interval of thirds, and you will be fine.